To draw this circular branch, select the circular drawing command. Then select the type of network and the profile size. Now right click to select the connection option. Instead of a tapping connection, select T and choose the appropriate T connection. Select the duct to connect to and then click to indicate the direction. The T appears. Right click and select register at the end of network. Choose this type of register. Then click to indicate the distance point of the first arrow and position the other arrows. Confirm and the command is over. Now you can call the command pick up on T. Select the T and specify the profile size of the new conduit in the dialog box. Right click and select register at the end of network. Insert the arrows, confirm and the command is over. One last branch, select the circular drawing command, then select the type of network and the profile size. Right click to select the connection option, this time choose a tapping connection with a connection from above angled 45 degrees. Select the duct to connect to, then click to specify a second and third point. Here, right-click and select Register at the end of network. Choose the direction of flow and the type of register. Insert the dimension of the register, the dimension K, and click OK. Now position the arrows. Click on the first point and place the arrows. Confirm and the command is complete.